Good morning. This is a video podcast on using RSS uh, technology and Feedly. Um, There are many RSS aggregators or readers out there um, that you can use. Feedly, I found, is one of the best. It's uh, one of the newest and one of the best. Uh, What is RSS? Um, It stands for Really Simple Syndication. Syndication on the web is a form of syndication where digital materials are made available to multiple sites. So here's the thing with RSS. Um, Okay, if you look at my bookmarks, I've got a lot of bookmarks. I've been collecting bookmarks for years and years and years. I've got all my education bookmarks, blended learning, uh, great content that I've found, library media, master's, um, media education. Okay, I've got, um, I think, 17,000 bookmarks. Um, so I've got all of these bookmarks, these articles, these websites um, that um, I like to, to check out and frequent, but there's far too many for me to go to periodically, um, you know, to, to really get the good information that I want. Um, so what's nice is uh, you can actually get that information to come directly to you. So this is a Feedly reader. Um, it is an RSS aggregator or reader. Um, it's a site used to collect, organize, and read feeds from multiple sources as defined by the user, which, of course, is me or you. So on my Feedly reader, um, I have all of these uh, different areas of things that I like to read about. I like to read about music. So if you take a look, I've got uh, Clash Magazine, Jazz Times, um, Dis- Disco Naivety, Ill Roots, Gorilla vs. Bear, which actually is a great music uh, blog. Um, I've got things on uh, education, you know, all these sites on education. And anytime that something is new uh, to one of these sites or these blogs, it comes directly to me. I don't have to go out and check those sites and see um, if, that in, if there's new information there. That takes a lot of time, especially if, I'm, uh, if there are this many sites that I like to go and, and take a look at. So that stuff comes directly to me. So if I click on education, all right, I've got a a number of interesting articles that I can take a look at, um, and it's all come directly to me. Awesome, right? So here's the thing, RSS. Um, It has been around for probably a decade, Um, but most people don't know about it. So it's like one of those things that is there, and it's always like right under your nose, but you don't know about it. It's like the internet too. Did you know there was a second internet? There is. I know, it's a mind blower. It's going to f- melt your brain. RSS might do the same. So, for instance, I'll go to Rolling Stone. Um, just as an example, Rolling Stone magazine, just about every blog, just about every website has an RSS feed. Um, so, if you scroll to the bottom, uh, you're looking for um, RSS someplace on the page. Typically, you're going to find it at the bottom of the page. At the very bottom of the page, you've got all your follow on Rolling Stone options for social media, Instagram, which I heard is the new hip thing, uh, Tumblr, um, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. You also have this little icon. Uh, It's usually yellow or orange with uh, the white bars. They look like Wi-Fi bars. This is an RSS icon. See? It's right there. It's always been there. Under your nose. You never even knew what it was. Now you do. Now you're in the cult of awesome. So here's what happens when I click on that button. It's going to give me all the possible feeds that um, Rolling Stone offers. So they've got a music news feed, a political politics news feed. They have their uh, columnists here that you can feed video if you want video from Rolling Stone. You can... uh, you can subscribe to that. I'm going to subscribe to, let's go with movie news. I don't have much movie stuff on my uh, Feedly, but I do like um, I do like films. So right here at the top, they're going to give you an option. Um, it must It's either recognizing that I used Feedly or it's saying, hey, Feedly's awesome because, you know, it is. Um, but I can click on that and I can choose some other ones too. There are some new ones. I'm not familiar with Rolio uh, or the old reader. Um, but Feedly's here at the top, and if I want, I can, cl- I can click subscribe to this feed, and it'll give me some examples of the articles that are available. I'm going to click on subscribe now, and it's likely to take me out to Feedly. Yep, 
Um, so if you're not logged in, it will have you log in to Feedly. It'll take you right out there um, and give you this. So it'll tell you rollingstone.com and give you the option to add it to Feedly, plus Feedly, add to Feedly. So if I click on that button, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I can either check uh, where I want to put it, but I don't have any film. So I'm going to add film or movies, a movie category. So I can create a category. That option is already available for me. I'm click on or type out movies, click on add, and there it is. So awesome, right? So you can follow all of your favorite bands like One Direction or uh, I don't know what's cool anymore, Marilyn Manson, right? Uh, Limp Biscuit. You can follow all your favorite uh, band sites. You can go to your favorite blogs if you have any. Uh, Rolling Stone, Pitchfork Music, highly recommended. You can also follow news sites. So I can go to CNN, and again, your mind is about to be blown. If I scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's going to be an option somewhere for RSS. There it is, RSS. It's there. It's always been there, man. Now you know. Cult of Awesome. All right. And here, it's going to give me some options. Now, it looks like there's a broken link. Uh, we're going to try that because uh, this one is um, promoting uh, my Yahoo, which you can also use uh, for RSS feeds as well. But I'm going to click. I'm going to go with uh, I'm interested in politics. So I'm going to click on this option here. I don't think it's a broken link, actually. And it's going to bring me to this page where I can choose uh, which... Uh, feed reader I want to use and in this case of course I use Feedly so I'm gonna click oh, it must be recognizing that I use Feedly so I'm gonna click on subscribe with Feedly and again it's gonna take me there and I can add it and add it to my um, politics news if I want to okay by clicking on Feedly and I do have politics it's gonna um, automatically recognize that I have politics how awesome is that so easy click on add there it is Okay, but here's the thing. So I can use this to follow uh, great websites and blogs for, for music and anything, shoes, whatever you're into. But you can also use this um, to follow academic um, journals and academic websites or organization websites. All right. So um, we're going to go to the Apple Valley homepage. I'm going to go to the Students ribbon. I'm going to click on the Media Center and I'm going to go to the Databases. I'm going to show you one example of this. Um, some of them, I'm still trying to figure out how they do um, uh, RSS subscriptions. I know most of them do, um, but I, I found it a little bit difficult, uh, non-intuitive, to, to add those uh, from some of these um, uh, databases that, that used to do it and used to do it very easily. Um, but let's go to Academic Search Premier. And we can do a search for whatever it is you're doing a research paper on, whatever your, your search topic is. Let's do uh, something that is uh, in the news, has been in the news lately, the um, Ebola. And it's going to give me some search term possibilities. I'm going to click on Ebola virus and click on search. And so this is going to give me uh, a number of articles. Um, it's going to give me 2,000 articles. Okay, good. But I want to know if there's anything new that I'm going to check through these articles and see what's good, and I'm going to uh, check them out and uh, uh, save them and cite them, of course, um, if I use them. Uh, but I want to know if there anything new emerges um, in Academic Search Premier, which is pulling from tons of academic um, sites. If I click on sh the Share option, it's going to give me a couple options. One, I can also do an email alert. So if you'd rather, you can set up some email alerts and it will send new articles directly to your email. Or I can um, select RSS. Okay, so I'm going to select the RSS feed. And let's see, and go once a day. Um, articles published within the last year, that sounds good to me. Um, frequency, check once a day brief results. Let me get uh, detailed results so I can see a little bit about what that article is uh, before I go and check it out. And then what I'm going to want to do is select, I'm going to do a, a right click or a control click um, on the link and I'm going to uh, copy the link address. All right. So this is the second way you can add feeds. You can just get the, the link address. Now if I click on this, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's probably going to give us a page of code. No, it's not. All right. It, okay, that works. We can do that. The other thing we can do is go directly to Feedly, and I'll just I'll just go and show you 
um, how to add content manually. So if I want, I can go and click Add Content, and I can just paste in that URL, do a search, and it's going to show me, oh, there's one reader of this. It's probably me, <laughs> as I said, this, I did this as a test. I'm probably the only reader. Well, one article a week, abstracts only, so it's going to be the abstract of the article. I can click on the Add option, and I can add it here if I want. I can even add a new collection. Uh, let's do Ebola research and add. And now I can start adding other things from other databases perhaps into that Ebola research um, area. Now I'm probably going to have to refresh in order for that to, to appear or log in. Oh, there it is, uh, Ebola research. So there. Now I can click on that. And here are the latest articles from yeah. this search on Academic Search Premier. Okay, academic content coming directly to you, right? Awesome, so awesome, it's awesome. It is awesomely awesome. Okay, I'll stop. Um, here's another thing. If you are doing a research paper on, I don't know, say nursing, what you wanna do is get your, your finger on the pulse of that, uh, that industry. So go to Google and just type in, I don't know, nursing or nursing organizations. And it's going to tell us some of the major nursing organizations. American Nurses Association. That is a major nursing organization. Okay. So here, oh, look at that, RSS, okay, it's everywhere, man. All right, click on uh, more nursing insider news and click on that. And it's going to give me the latest options. I can click on the RSS button. And it's going to give me my option to add to Feedly. There, I can subscribe to that. Awesomeness. I gotta stop saying awesome. I apologize for all the awesome. I'm just really excited about RSS. I hope you are too. Let's go back to Google. I'm gonna Google Google. How meta, how, how meta is that? I'm gonna go back to nursing organizations. I'm gonna get back to nurses.org. Look at these, nursing organizations um, in the United States, American nursing organizations, state by state. Look at all these nursing organizations. And a lot of these, I bet, are going to have uh, RSS feeds. Um, you can even just go in and type in the, the URL of that website and it will tell you if there are um, RSS feeds. But here, I'm gonna go, I'm interested in going to um, take a look at some international nursing organizations. Let's see what's going on there. And click on International Association for Human Caring. That sounds good to me. Now here you're going to go down and you're not going to see um, an RSS option here. That doesn't mean there isn't one. Um, even if I go and I search this, it may come up in Feedly as though there isn't. However, if I click on News, there is an RSS option right here. Sometimes you have to look around for it a little bit. Sometimes you have to be a little bit persistent and try a couple of different things. So this, I'm going to click on the RSS option and there it is. Feedly. I can choose another reader if I want to and I can subscribe to it and it's going to work the same way. Right? So now I have in my Feedly all of these things that are of interest to me and that are uh, pertinent to my research and the things that I can use very easily and it all comes directly to me. Now the second part of this, if you want, is I can walk you through how to set up uh, a Feedly account. All right, I'm all set up to do that. If you don't want uh, that tutorial, you can stop the uh, video right now. Uh, if you do, continue. So I'm gonna go over to Safari, uh, just uh, start fresh, and I'm just gonna do a Google search for Feedly. Right there it is. Feedly, your news delivered. And it's a very simple setup here. Um, click on Start Reading. It's going to tell you a little bit about it. Click on Start Reading. 
Um, I can click on technology. Oh, the Verge. Follow it. Awesome. Life hacker. Amazing. You got to do it. So I can start to set up my, my feed. Once you start to do that, it's going to ask you to log in. So I can log in via any of these things. You can log in with Facebook. You can log in with your, your Google um, login. Click here. It's going to give me my options. Um, I'm going to click on my, uh, or, or you'll type, type yours in by adding an account. Um, might look a little bit different for you. I'm going to click on my apps email account. That's the one I'm going to use for setting this up. And it's going to allow me to log in. Feedly would like to do these things. Sure, Feedly, go for it. All right, so I clicked on The Verge, which is a great site. It's going to already um, pre-identify that this is technology. Awesome. Works so nicely. There, and I can start to set up these things. Okay, very easy. Do follow Lifehacker. It's so great. Hacking life. You learn how to hack life. I'm, le I'm, I'm, I'm learning you how to hack information right now. How cool is that? All right. So, that's basically it. Setup is super easy. I can start going through and checking on uh, or, or adding feeds from some of these uh, different um, locations, from these different options. Um, I can go back and I can take a look at what I have. I can add content manually. I can go and add academic content. I can add news sources. Um, a lot of those things are populated right here in Feedly. Uh, if I want, if I have a great uh, site that I like, um, Pitchfork for, for music, um, I can click on that and it's going to tell me right away there's tons of Pitchfork options here. And I can add those to Feedly. So check the sites that you like. Um, and uh, go and find some things on our databases. Um, go and, 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 and subscribe to organizations that are talking about uh, and studying the topics that you are searching for. If you have any questions, uh, come see me in the Media Center. I am here to help.